Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And today, as we finish out this week of talking about different emotions and, and different ways that God has blessed us and given us uh, wonderful things to feel and understand our way, today I want to talk about the most dangerous thing out there. I want to tell you about the emotion, the one thing that, that rulers are fearful of, nations have toppled because of it, and, and everyone worries about this. And it's the emotion of hope. When we have hope. When we have hope, we, we, we believe that the way things are today doesn't have to be the way things are tomorrow. When we have hope, we are instilled with this natural understanding that change is possible. When we have hope, it means that we are not going to be uh, kept in captivity. We are not going to be held back. We will not allow someone to hold us down. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope, though, helps us, helps us in faith to always have this belief, this strong insistence that tomorrow will always be better than today. The true message of, of Christianity is not that, hell, that, that the world is going to hell in a handbasket and we all better abandon ship as fast as we can to get to heaven. That is not the message of Christianity. The message that Jesus Christ proclaimed was that, that hope would, would take us beyond this, that the resurrection, the power of, of death and sin had been conquered. No more would the powers that be, the, the, the almighties that, that think of themselves as being all that, be the ones that lead. Instead, resurrection says that death is mo no more. The chains have been broken. Sin has been put in its place. We have the ability now to be who God called us to be. We can evolve, change, and transform, and be made new. The old has passed away. God is calling us to something new. That is hope. I love being hopeful. I've been accused of probably being too hopeful at times. But I truly do believe that the emotion of hope is what satisfies uh, our, our lives in the most dire of situations. When I read about earthquakes in Haiti and the, the, the rubble that surrounds the people and they, they, they don't give up, they continue digging because they know someone's still alive inside there or the ones that are inside there, they, they know that someone's coming for them. Hope is what holds us to this. And hope is a powerful emotion. Hope is a, a divine touch. If I had to say, the, the one time that we're the most shining like the image of Jesus Christ, the one time we're reflecting God most brilliantly, it's within love and hope. It's within love and hope that says, you and I, we're okay today, but tomorrow it's going to get better and better. Hope. Hope brings us together. Hope lifts us up. Hope is an emotion we need to have more of today. Amen.